what's good? Rocking with your boy Zara, all rights reserved. Today's the birthday, but every day is my birthday, so this is how we want to give it up. Um, I got multiple uploads coming, some about URL. Um, for now, I'm going to talk about superstars that I normally do. And as we know, Chief Keith recently made a trip over to New York after leaving L.A., allegedly because Takashi claims he was there for five days and Chief Keith left in the middle of it. I'm not really sure what his motive was or what he was doing because I haven't seen or heard from Chief Keith in a while. Neither has the media. But um, it seems like shots were fired at Chief Keith when he was around there. Um, things were going on. Uh, and as you know, I take a perspective that is not of the original story. Uh, recently on my Twitter, you see me talking about the little girls that were found, dismembered, cut up, and their organs missing. Allegedly friends of the late Kanika Jenkins that was also killed at Rosemont Hotel. And this 15-year-old girl was found um, basically disfigured and cleaned out of her organs. Now, what most people don't understand is that it's like 150K plus per organ is what these organs go for on the black market, uh, especially African-Americans, because it, it's claimed that the organs last longer. Uh, and of course, we know the race of most people who are buying these organs for that amount is uh, Caucasian. And that's what's going on right now. It's not major in the news. It is around, but it's happening in Chicago a lot. And that's why I mention it, because Chief Keith is a native of Chicago. But the shooting has not been deciphered yet as being related to him or some other situation. We don't know what it's behind it other than the Takashi beef. But we, I'm not putting it out there like that because just because someone shot at him, we can't claim that it was Takashi. It could have been someone who's a Takashi enthusiast. We don't really know the picture yet, but... The thing is, Takashi's making the money Chief Keith used to make. So this beef just makes sense. He's looking at it like this guy's like the number one artist, but he feels his savagery because of his background in Chicago has prepared him for this. But a lot of people aren't realizing Takashi's not just linked to the Bloods. He's linked to many different people. Why? Because Treyway, um, that's his manager and that represents his manager, but not of his manager because Treyway is not only a person that we know it to be, it is a movement. Um, and that was the smartest thing that his CEO did. He made Treyway a movement. So when you make a movement and it's all for your name, anybody that finds, let's say, value in Treyway, the person or Treyway, by whatever alleged gang means, it, it, it just gets messy. So it could have been literally someone that reps Treyway but has no ties directly to Takashi himself. And it would just be the same thing if Takashi sold up to L.A. and uh, Chicago goons that live in L.A. allegedly threw shots at him. And now it's getting messier because this is Chief Keys. As we know, Little Reese is going to get involved. And we have and all the beef is around Tato because of the situation with China Dog. And China Doll has recently signed and inked a deal with Treyway. Now, this is about to get live because you just laid shots at people that are used to shootouts and things because that's their lifestyle. So it's really going to make or break a lot of his career what goes on after this. If he violates Chief Keith and, and truly makes him back down, Takashi's going to be seen as the new savage, but Chief Key's trying to fight to keep his place in the media as the savage because that's always been what his claim to fame was. I mean, even back when he started, way when before he was nationally known and I was watching his videos where he was just on his block in Chicago. There's a lot of implications and people that are involved in these situations. And that's what makes this so dangerous because Takashi has become a household name by now because of the amount of views we see online, not only from The Breakfast Club, but from his many videos that have been blowing up all over the internet. There's a lot of black and white around the people in the drama, but it's very clear that drama is occurring, whether it's shootouts, whether they have a conversation, whether they meet up and let 6 9 and Tato fist fight. Because 
you know, we're just at a different time where the focus needs to be placed elsewhere, but the media is going to blow up the black on black crime because that's what normally gets the sales, gets the views, it brings in the people. It's a marketing technique. And that's what needs to be kept in mind. How are these marketing techniques affecting these young individuals' lives ultimately? These guys can get killed over marketing, over media, over uh, the internet. And that's the dangers. The internet is trying to take out the youth that we have that are rising, that are growing because of what their claim the fame is. So in this, I want to say it's about the claim the fame. If your claim the fame isn't wholesome to your skill, it's going to be expanded upon by other things you do. And as we know, Takashi has made hit after hit. But he's traveling, making money, performing. At the same time, there's been many threats placed against him. So when he's going to these places and he's putting himself in danger as he's progressing, every time he survives some type of drama, he gains more allies. That's for anyone. Every time you're getting through drama of that magnitude, you have more people that are in support of you because they're like, wait, this guy's for real about what he's trying to do. He's surviving. He's making good on his word. And that's what it's about. Are you about what you say? Now, the dangers behind Chief Keith in Chicago are, are not about his savagery. It's not even about what he's done or what he could do. It's all around the affiliates he has. See, it's about the affiliates he gained on his tenure in the game. And Takashi is very early on in the game, but his CEO is older and has been involved in the game of the street life. So he is in, let's say, perspective, the savagery that Takashi has been missing, maybe in his presence, maybe in what he says. It's about the affiliates around him. It's not just bloods that are endangering these guys. It's whoever hates them is now going to link up with Takashi because they have a single interest. And that's why the strategy needs to be planned. Sun Tzu Art of War. If you guys haven't read or if you guys aren't familiar with techniques and, and uh, war devices, I can definitely guarantee you that that Treyway is because of the single things I've seen him doing. Who he's getting around, who he's speaking to when he travels, who he's talking to, who's respecting him, what Takashi's doing, how much money he's making, everything in a sense, is formulated to help them rise. So to make enemies with a guy on the rise, it, it doesn't make sense, being that Chief Keith would be better off making music since music has been lacking in his diet. As far as him as an artist, as far as him as a brand, a label, his team, it's just a lot of bad drama. And, you know, we always heard that, and I've even let you know that, um, Press any bad, whether bad or good, is still pressed to get it out there. But when it involves the possibility of your life being cost at the end of it or over it, what is the press really worth? You know, we're we're getting out there with videos with guys making threats to kill each other. Now a shooting happens, and, and this leads authorities to get involved and get on social media because, as we know, most of them are too lazy and. Some of them are so racist, they don't even care who's living or dying. So they're just going to show up when the shots fall. And that's really dangerous for these major artists that are on the come up, especially Takashi. Being Chief Keith truly has nothing to lose in doing war with Takashi. Doing war with Takashi only brings his name back to the forefront and makes people who may have been rocking with Takashi as a fan pick sides. And like I've said many, many times before, there's nothing good about picking sides because these people could be someone that Takashi goes to or thinks everything's good. They find out vital information about him. Now the war and the advantage is on Chief Keith's side. So it's all about how you move during these times, you know, especially if the beef ain't squashed and this happened, it only amplified things. So we know Chief Keith's going to try and get revenge in some way, shape or form. It doesn't have to be next month. It doesn't even have to be this year. We know that now the doors open that he could do war with him because there's no truce and there's a lot of word going around about people running different things. So you're really testing someone's gangster 
in the image that they created for themselves in the game, that's where you get the loss of superstars or you get the loss of the vision for music and they increase in the disses, increase in the disrespect, and then he has no choice but to respond. Those are all the dangers surrounding these events. And, you know, we try to just keep our eye out. And you know how I rock. All rights reserved.